Hey guys, what is up? It's Andy here with another video and today I'm going to be touching on something that's going down at Take A Lot and it's a bit of a just my personal experience and I thought I would uh, fill you guys in. So a lot of my content I do here on this channel is related to Take A Lot and sort of you know how to sell on there and whether it's worth it or not and I've done a heap of videos so if you want to go back and check those uh, do yourself a favor and check them out. Some of them are really interesting. It's been quite a journey. Uh, I am a seller at the moment. And yeah, last week, basically, over the last two weeks, I've had a bit of an experience with Take Lot that I thought I should start, uh, that I should bring to your guys' attention. Um, basically, excuse, there's a wood chipping. Someone's sawing wood literally in the background. It's infuriating. Anyway, so basically what's been happening is uh, we got suspended um, it's one of the things that Take Lot does. It's pretty much one of the dark sides of Take Lot is they are a big conglomerate. Uh, if you don't comply, if you fall below your SLA, they have the the right and the ability to just suspend your account. So for in our situation, they just suspended our lead time delivery, which means we can't fulfill and then send to take lot we have to preemptively send stock and then if it's sell sale happens that can still go through but in our case that was 70 percent of our transactions through take lot our lead time orders um so anyway that was quite a big deal not complaining um i do get that they have to enforce those things they have to maintain a level of uh, standard and that's why you get a lot of sales when you are a seller on take a lot is because customers get a very good service they get their product delivered within on time they get it delivered uh, it's always generally the right product I mean they do make mistakes but anyway the service is there I get it they have SLAs I get it but what pisses me off is the fact that when there is an issue that we wanted to address with this uh, compliance um, concern. So obviously they said, okay, you've uh, breached your SLA. We say, okay, we disagree. We wanted to appeal it and we wanted to show them some of the evidence that was in our favor uh, because this suspension, suspension comes out of nowhere. Uh, they say, this is what we think. And then we wanted to say what we think. So. As you would expect, so we sent in, we filled in the contact form and whatnot. And yeah, basically two weeks later, we went through the entire two week suspension and we didn't get a single reply from the compliance team. And I mean, this cost us over, probably lost about a hundred thousand in sales over those two weeks. Uh, we do have other channels. It's not a, like, it, it's, it's a big deal, but it, uh, it didn't cripple us. Don't worry anything like that. But it's, I mean, that was, it's a big chunk for a small business to, to lose and not a single reply. And I mean, you know, it, it's, it's a six figure business the amount of business we do with take lot every year and they get 15% on average of that. They get all the delivery revenue from that. So they're making a good good amount of money on us being a seller, but they didn't even send us one reply in 14 days, 15 days. We even had our account manager allegedly um, uh, escalated to the compliance team and nothing. So I went on to Facebook. There's this group. Uh, it's called Take Lot Marketplace Sellers. You guys really, if you're selling on Take Lot, you have to join this group. It's brilliant. I'll link it below. Um, and I did a little poll. And as you can see here, uh, I just said, hey guys, what a, you know, just rate your experience with seller put support. And I really, yeah, I found out quite quickly that I'm not alone. Uh, I did plot it over here uh, a couple of hours ago, it might have changed. And basically, out of 64 people, only three people said it was good, the seller support. And over 40 people rated the seller support as extremely poor. So think about that very carefully when you are considering whether you are going to sell on take a lot uh, and whether you're going to go down that, that road. I still think it's good to be a seller on take a lot. I still think you can make a lot of money. I still think uh, you can navigate it if you get in early enough. And anyway, I'm not against it, but 
you do need to realize that this is one of the things that irks a lot of the sellers. You're going to be, you know, you'll join this group and you'll see a lot of uh, confusion and a lot of uh, learning and pains and groans and as everyone grows together. But to be honest, to see that I'm not alone and that there's over 40 people that said it was extremely poor, nine people said it was poor, uh, 11 people said it was average and one person said it was below average. Only three out of 64 respondents saying it's good. I'm not alone um, in this. And I think if anyone at Take a Lot is watching this, maybe you could, you could reply to my ticket. Uh, I would, would show you guys some of the, the things. They're all still open, but there's just so much uh, you know, personal information on there uh, and order numbers and things like that. So I can't really go on, but they are still open. So if you guys see this, um, may, at the time of recording, the tickets are open. Maybe you guys can go back and uh, look at it. But nonetheless, the suspension's over. There's no way, uh, you know, I can't get those two weeks back, even if they said, okay, we've made a mistake. And they have in the past uh, seen that I've seen emails where they have admitted to making mistakes. It does happen. I would have been fine if they had said, uh, two days later, sorry, we made a mistake. Um, your, you know, your account's restored, whatnot. I would have been like, okay, mistakes happen. But just to not reply for two weeks, I think that's where it gets a little bit uh, difficult. Um, so guys, not much of a educational video today, but a bit of my personal experiences. I know a lot of you other guys are, are watching, you're sellers on Take Lot, you're learning, you're going through the same thing I'm going through. Um, yeah, join this group on, on Facebook. It's brilliant. Make sure to leave any comments below if you're going through a similar thing. Uh, like the video if you've been through a similar thing with Take Lot. Um, and yeah, just let me know your thoughts below. And then, guys, yeah, I try to make business videos, help you guys grow and manage your business. And uh, if you like this sort of content, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll check you guys next week.